here. So today, I want to talk to you about someone really special. And this is my son, Dean Taylor. I know, he's really big. Um, he used to be really small. And he is now almost 20. He plays with Texas Bobcats in Texas. So, <laughs> he is defensive tackle player for the football team. And I want to ask him a couple of questions about how it is to work out and to be in shape for it. So, what does your normal day look like? Or well, what was it, first of all, what was it like growing up with mama? Um, well, as you guys probably know, my mom is super into being fit <laughs> and all that stuff. So, like, she would, like, used to, uh, for punishment, like, if I ever got in trouble, which was quite frequently, um, she would, we always lived on a hill, so she would make me run up and down the hill, and so I was always in top-notch shape. So, like, getting like, peeing and all that stuff, I was at, the, like, the top of my class. My mom was on a diet, I was on a diet. But, I mean, that stuff really helped me out now, because... And when it comes to like taking care of my body and like prepping myself and all that kind of stuff, like I already know how it's done. What do you do here, Dean? Uh, I do rehab and treatment and all that crazy stuff. I don't know if I got nicks or bruises or anything like that. Strain back, strain neck, muscle fatigue, anything. I just come in here, stretch you out, give you stem, anything you need really to get you back to full strength, <laughs> get you back to 100%. 
So how often do you work out on in the in the gym? Oh, in the weight room? Yeah. Uh, well, right now that we're in season, uh, I only lift three times a week. So I lift Sundays right after a game. Uh, I lift again on Wednesdays, which is more of an optional thing. I do that like in the middle of the day. And then I lift again in the morning on Thursday. And when you're not in season, how often do you lift? Uh, Monday through Saturday. Monday and through Saturday. how many meals a day do you eat? Um, four to five with like four snacks in between. Four snacks? Mm -hmm. Just about. So four to five meals and four snacks? Yeah. So do you guys hear that? Nine meals. Um, to get the size of, how much do you weigh right now? 290 is what I'm averaging. And how tall are you? 6'5". And he got mama's calf. Bam! <laughs> yeah. Do you mind showing us the strength department room real quick? Just to, to give, uh, see what it looks like? Yeah, sure. Thing. I'll just take a quick peek. Okay. Here's somebody else. This is his best friend right here. Huh? Wow, look at this. This is the strength room. Weight room. room. Uh, this is like paradise. Yeah, this is one of my favorite rooms in the whole uh, complex. So, you can open the door, you can get like a quick in, scan. We got it, we can see it okay. from here. Yeah, it gives a good impression. So, we don't want to interrupt somebody in there. They, I think they're meeting this one. Yeah. But so how we do it is we split it right down the middle. Uh, we usually go four groups per rack. I think there's 16 racks. And then uh, depending on how big your group is, we split it up. We got row, we got uh, leg press, we got everything we need. Row machines, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool. That's how I got as big as I am now. Right there. You see that bench right there? Second one right there. Second one to us? Yeah. Yeah. That's, what that's I, your bench? That's what I'm on. Uh, bench 365 for the first time at that bench right there. How much? 365. <laughs> for the first time. All right. Well, thank you for the tour. We really appreciate it. And how are your grades? Do you think you need to have good grades to be a football player? Absolutely, not a doubt. Uh, one thing. First DC that I had when I was here, his name is Randall McCray. He always said, "How you do anything is how you do everything." So if you half-ass in school, you're gonna half-ass everything else you do. If you half-ass cleaning your room or taking care of yourself or freaking, if you half-ass putting on your socks, you're gonna half-ass anything else you do. So if I'm gonna bust my ass in football, I gotta bust my ass in school, and I gotta bust my ass in everything else I do. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. And what do you say about bullies? Bullies? I hate them. <laughs> you hate them? Yeah. yeah. Did you encounter bullies in your school? You know, Mama is a big advocate against bullies. Uh, like here? In general, any school. Well, what do you say to any teenager that's going through that right now? Um, I don't know. It's, it's tough. <laughs> My mom raised me pretty tough. <laughs> uh, I never really took anything from anybody. I always knew who I was as a person. I was very confident in who I was as a person. So nobody could ever tell me I was anything but what I knew I had. Remember when they teased you about what music you were listening to? Oh, yeah, I care about that. I, I like what I like. I don't, I don't really care about I'm not trying to please anybody else but myself. So the key here is just love yourself. Yeah. Do what you want to do no matter what. And don't listen to the naysayers and stick exactly. around the positive ones, right? Exactly. Because well, if, if you try and please, you try and please everybody else, you're gonna be sadder than when they were messing with you for not conforming to them. Because you won't be happy with who you are as a person. Do you think it helped you to stay true to yourself with where you are today? What do you mean, like stay, dealing with that kind of stuff? Yeah, staying true to your oh, yeah. personality I mean, when, and when, when how you, you treat people. Uh, no, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of doors have been open for me due to my personality and who I am as a person. You know, that I carry myself with a high head and I'm always so confident. I feel like it really opened up a lot of doors and whatnot, so. What do you say about lazy, when people are lazy? Ah, uh, that is disgusting. Oh my gosh, I can't stand lazy people. Lazy people are the freaking, I apologize, but they are the scum of the earth to me. It's horrible. I mean, laziness is the most disgusting thing I've ever encountered. 
I can't stand lazy people. And all it takes is just to show up, right? Yeah, all it takes is to, to wake up, get out of bed, and just go handle, do what you gotta do. Yeah, excuse, everybody's got excuses, man, you know? Lip service is only good until you, until you actually put it into action. And before we end it, what is your favorite quote? Uh, my favorite quote is, in moments of adversity, you don't rise to the occasion, you fall to the level of your training. Amen to that. Thank you so much for your time. Now let's go eat. <laughs>